Hey there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. We're going to start standing. So when you're ready, come to the top of your mat and we'll start with the feet hip distance apart and parallel and bringing the palms and hands together in front of the chest into your prayer position and starting to close down the eyes. Just take a few moments to contact the breath. And then shifting the focus to your feet. It's feeling the soles of the feet spread down. And noticing the points of contact at the base of the big toe, the little toe, the outside edge of the heel and the inside edge of the heel. Grounding down through those four points and then starting to draw the energy up the legs. Small lift of the kneecaps. Keep lifting through the front of the body as the tailbone drops down. Growing long through the entire spinal column. Energy up and out through the crown of the head. So now you have the energy grounding down and lengthening up. And so letting the attention settle on your breathing once again. And starting to take a few longer breaths. It's creating the space to be here with yourself, with your practice. And then when you're ready, let's open the eyes. Releasing the arms down by your side, Palms facing forward, press down through the feet and reach the arms out to the sides. Look up towards the thumbs and then as you exhale, take a forward fold, soften through the knees as much as you need to here. Just easing your way into it, let the head relax down, back of the neck is relaxed. Take an inhale into your halfway lift, you could straighten the legs or keep them slightly bent, hands can come to the shins. And then as you exhale, fold down, bend through the knees and let's take a spine roll to come back up to standing. Drop the tailbone down, draw the belly button in as you come up, press down through the feet, reach the arms out to the sides. Inhale, looking up towards the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold, once again, softening through the knees. Letting the head relax down. Take an inhale into your halfway lift. If you can, fingers can stay down. Exhale, fold, bend through the knees, take a spine or roll to come up again. One more time like that, inhaling, palms and hands come together, and then exhale, forward fold, relaxing the head. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, fold. Soften through the knees, take a spine roll to come up. Inhaling, reach the arms up, palms together, Exhale, forward fold. You might want to keep your legs straight if that's available for you now. And then take the hands a bit further forward of the feet. Bend into the left knee, keep the right leg straight and peel open that right arm up towards the ceiling, turning the head to look up towards that right hand. A little bit of pressure down through the outside edge of the right foot. Open breath, taking an inhale and then exhale. Bend through the right knee, let's swap it around straight into the left leg. Take the left arm up towards the ceiling. Pressure down through the outside edge of that left foot. Try to lift away from that bottom hand. Inhale and then exhale. Bend through that left knee. Let's go one more time, just moving through. Take an inhale, reach the right arm up and then exhale. Bend through the right knee, straight through the left leg. Inhale and then exhale. Relaxing the head down, taking one more inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step back into your down facing dog. This first down dog, just a couple of breaths. Spreading into those hands. Come down onto the knees. Release the tops of the feet down. Wrists a couple of inches forward of the shoulders. Crown of the head reaching forward. Take an inhale. As you exhale, sit back towards the heels. And then take an inhale to come back into your tabletop. 
exhale back towards the heels and then inhale into your tabletop crown of the head leading as you shift the weight forward tailbone leading as you shift the weight back and again last time come back to your tabletop and then let's bring the wrist a little bit more underneath the shoulders Release the belly down, tips the shoulders away from the ears, lift the eyes, inhale, tuck the toes under, press back into your down facing dog as you exhale. Lightly come back down into your tabletop, tips the shoulders away from the ears, belly down, eyes up, and then back into down facing dog. Just one more time, lightly tapping the knees down, inhale, and then exhale, chest towards the thighs, but keep drawing the lower ribs in towards the spine. Let's take the right leg up into your three-legged dog. Keep the leg parallel, inner edge of that right leg lifting up towards the ceiling, weight even into both hands. Taking an inhale, exhale, stepping that right foot forward in between the hands, come down to the left knee, release the back toes. And then take the arms up into your low lunge, Anjani Asana, just looking straight ahead. Think about those lower ribs drawing in, ground down through that right heel. And then let's reach the hands a bit further back and interlace the fingers at the base of the head. So you're just cradling the head into the hands. Maybe starting to imagine a big beach ball. So tailbone keeps dropping down, lift the sternum up, lift the elbows up towards the ceiling. Taking one more big inhale. And then as you exhale, releasing the arms down, take the hands down by the front foot, and then let's straighten into this front leg, flex the foot towards the face. You might move those hands back. Take another in breath to lengthen out, and then exhale, fold down, just to where you can. I'm trying to draw that right hip back. It's easy, open breathing. And then let's bend into that front leg. Take this right leg back behind you so it comes level with the torso. Make sure the wrists are underneath the shoulders. Right leg is parallel. Lifting the front of the body away from the mat. And take an inhale to lift the right leg, lift the eyes. Exhale, squeeze the knee in towards the nose. And then again, inhale, take the leg back. Lift the eyes. Exhale, squeeze the knee in. And again, inhaling and exhale. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. Just one more time, inhaling, exhale. Take the leg back behind you, keep it up level with the torso. Lift the lower ribs away from the mat. Seesaw push up. Feel free to drop the right knee down if you need to. Otherwise, elbows point back, chest dives in between the hands. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you press it up. And again, elbows point back. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Inhaling and exhale. Last time. Good. Let's bend that right knee. Option to reach that left hand back, holding the inside edge of that right foot. Start to kick the right knee up, draw the, ba the belly button in, and then maybe lift the eyes up. Taking one more big inhale, try to kick the knee up, and then very gently release the foot. Left hand down, sit back into your child's pose. Relax the forehead down. Let the breath recover. Come up into your tabletop. Keep the hips over the knees and then walk your hands forward, coming into your happy puppy pose here. Either chin or forehead down. Sealing the palms, the hands down. Having a sense of those armpits wrapping into face one another as well as letting the sternum relax down to the mat. And then come onto the forearm so you can come all the way down onto your belly. 
tops of feet pressing down. Take the hands out wide onto the fingertips. Take an inhale into your striking cobra, lifting the belly button away from the mat, and then exhale to lower down. And again, inhaling and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. Last one. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press yourself back through your tabletop, tuck the toes under, come into down facing dog. Let's take a breath. Taking the left leg up to your three legged dog, keep the leg parallel, weight into both hands. And then as you exhale, stepping that left foot forward in between the hands, come down to the right knee, release the back toes. Take the arms up into your low lunge. Press down to that left heel. Try to draw that left hip back. Keep lifting up through uh, the sternum, but at the same time, tailbone dropping down. Let's take the hands to the base of the head once again. Keep dropping that tailbone down, maybe continue to lift that sternum up, imagining that big beach ball that you're coming up and over. Elbows lift. Taking one more big inhale. And then as you exhale, releasing the arms down by the front foot and then straightening into this left leg, flexing the left foot towards the face. Take an inhale to lengthen out and then exhale, fold down to where you can. So breathing into the back of the left leg. And then bending into that front leg. Take this left leg back level with the torso. Set up the wrists underneath the shoulders, spreading through the fingers. Keep that left leg parallel. Take an inhale, lift the leg, lift the eyes. Exhale, squeeze the knee in towards the nose. And again, take it back. Inhale and exhale. Inhaling, exhale completely. Middle part of the spine pressing up towards the ceiling. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. Last one. And then taking it back, holding it up. Lift the front of the body away from the mat. Seesaw push up, elbows straight back. Inhale to lower down. Exhale, press it up. And again. Two more times. Last one. Bend that left knee. Take that right arm back as an option here, holding the inside of that left foot, kicking the knee up. Maybe lifting the eyes. Keep drawing the navel in, keep breathing. Take one more big inhale, kick it up. Very gently releasing that back foot. Placing it down, sit back into your child's pose. Find the breath. Come back up into your tabletop position. Once again, keep the hips over the knees as you extend the arms forward into your happy puppy. Chin or forehead down. And this time, if you want a little bit more here, flex the hands up towards the ceiling. Armpits wrapping to face in towards one another. And then place the hands down, forearms down, come down onto your belly. Feet hip distance apart, pressing down through the tops of the feet. Striking cobra, but this time let's turn the head to the right as we come up. Inhaling, bring the head back to centre, and then exhale. Head to the left, inhale, centre, and lower. To the right, inhale, centre, and lower. Last time, to the left, centre, and lower. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, back through your tabletop position and back into down facing dog. 
Let's take a breath. Softening through the knees. Look forward towards the hands. You could step or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Press down through the feet, reach the arms out to the side. Looking up towards the thumbs, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana, relax the head down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step or hop back into your plank position. Wrist just underneath or slightly forward of your shoulders, press the backs of thighs up towards the ceiling, crown of the head reaching forward. Let's take modified Chaturanga for this first one. Inhaling, come down to the knees, bend those elbows halfway, squeeze the elbows in and then release all the way down. Tops the feet down, draw the hands back in line with your ribs and then come up into your baby cobra. And just for this first one, let's take those hands off, squeeze the elbows in, press down through the tops of the feet. Keep breathing. Take one more inhale, come up, and then release down, tuck the toes under, through your tabletop into down facing dog. Let's take five full breaths here. Steady gaze in between the feet. Pressing down through the inside edges of the hands. And whenever you can, you're trying to slow down the breath, particularly the exhale. Softening through the knees, look forward towards the hands. Step or hop. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Shift the weight forward onto the balls of feet. Exhale, fold. Take the arms out to the side, inhaling. Palms and hands come together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. You can step or hop back into your plank position. Take an inhale if you're ready with knees off, lowering down Chaturanga, elbows squeeze in, press through the feet, inhale into your up facing dog, inner feet sharp, you can look straight ahead or if it feels comfortable, lift the eyes up and then lift through the belly to come back into down facing dog. That's three breaths now here in your down dog. The lower ribs drawing back in towards the spine, heels reaching down to the mat. And then on your next exhale, softening through the knees, look forward towards the hands, step or hop in between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take the arms out to the side, inhale. It's so one more round like that. Palms, hands together, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften through the knees, step or jump back, plank. And let's keep lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Trying to straighten the arms. And then let's soften through the knees. Look forward towards the hands, step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Arms out to the side. Urdhva Hastasana, palms, hands come together. And let's just draw the hands down through the center line. Rest them in front of the chest and let's close down the eyes just for a moment. Letting the weight drop back down into the feet. Noticing and observing the breath. And then let's open the eyes. Release the arms down by your side. Let's separate the feet hip distance apart. 
arms back down by your side, press down through the feet as you reach the arms forward and up, drop the tailbone down, start to lift the sternum up, keep circling the arms back, take the hands all the way onto your back, fingers pointing up, thumbs to the inside, you use your thumbs to press the hips forward, drop the tailbone down, if it's comfortable you might let your head relax all the way back, keep squeezing the elbows in, and then inhale, come back up. Fold forward through the hips, so coming down into your Uttanasana, relax the head down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees, step the right leg back. So you're coming into your sprinter's lunge, sternum's reaching forward. Inner edge of that right leg lifting up towards the ceiling. Lift through the belly, taking an inhale, we're going to take the arms off, coming into your arrowhead position. The palms are facing down, back of the neck is long, feeling that left thigh, left glute, it's really wake up here. Find the breath, press the back of the right thigh up towards the ceiling. Everything else stays the same, let's just take those arms up alongside the ears. Palms facing in towards one another. Keep breathing. Almost there. And then taking an inhale, come up into your crescent moon lunge. Bending a bit deeper in this front leg. Press that right heel back. Engaging the right glute to lift the right hip up. Just taking an inhale here and then bring the palms and hands together. Draw the hands down through the centre and come all the way down onto that right knee. Bring the hands down to the mat. Release the back toes down. Toe heel this left foot out to the side. And then taking a twist to the left leg, use that left hand on the inside of that left knee, starting to turn the shoulders towards the left. And then from here, option to bring that right foot in towards you, reach back, holding the inside of that right foot and this might be enough for you or you could come down onto your right forearm just continue to find that twist just letting that right hip be heavy turning the head to look over the left shoulder And then let's release that back foot very gently. Bring that left hand down, coming up onto both hands. Walk this left foot back towards the middle. Tuck the right toes under. Lift the right knee off. And then we're going to come onto the outside edge of that right foot. And we're stepping back into our side plank. Take the left foot, stack it on top of the right. Press into the knuckles of that right hand. Lift the left arm up towards the ceiling. Either looking towards the side wall or lifting the head up towards that left hand. Keep lifting up through that right side waist. Both feet flex. Now turn the eyes to look towards the left hand top corner of the mat. Step that left foot to the left hand corner of the mat. Bring the left hand down, come onto the ball of the right foot. Take the left leg back to your three legged dog. Inhale, come forward into your plank position. Option to keep the leg off as you lower down, chaturanga. Top of the left foot down, top of the right foot down. Inhale, up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Let's take a breath. Taking the right leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, knee in towards the chest. Extend that right leg out to the side, to the left-hand side, up towards that left wrist. Stay on the ball of the left foot and then extend that left arm forward. Crown of the head is reaching forward. Keep that right foot flexed. Take one more inhale and then swivel onto the inside edge of that left foot as you exhale. Open that left arm up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing down to the knuckles of the right hand. Taking one more inhale, exhale, left hand down. Come to the ball of the right, left foot, bring the right knee in. Take it back into your three-legged dog, inhaling, exhale. 
Step that right foot forward, left heel down, warrior one. Coming up with those arms, bending a bit deep in this front leg, maybe bringing the palms and hands together. Eyes can lift up towards the, towards the thumbs. Bend into that front leg a little bit further if you can. Reach up through both sides of the waist. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, circle the arms back behind you, interlacing the fingers behind the back. Trying to strain those arms, reach the hands down, lift the sternum up, inhale. Exhale down into your humble warrior. Head down towards the inside of that right foot. Draw that right hip back towards the inner edge of that left foot. Let the back of the neck be relaxed. And then on your next in breath, coming back upright, transitioning into your reverse warrior. So open the hips and the shoulders out to the side, left hand very light on that back leg. Turn the head to look up, inhale, and then exhale into your side angle. Right forearm down, left thumb up and over, or maybe bringing that right hand down towards the inside of that right foot. Palm could be flat or on your fingertips. Turning the head to look up towards the ceiling. Press down through the outside edge of that left foot. Reach out through the left fingers. Keep the legs as they are. We're going to come back into our reverse warrior just for a breath. Inhaling. Exhale. Cut all the hands down by the front foot. Come to the ball of the left foot. Step it a little bit further forward. Inhale and then exhale to straight through that front leg. It's coming into your pyramid pose here. Try to keep the legs parallel. So draw that right hip crease back. Belly relaxing down towards the thigh. Let's let the breath slow down for a moment. And then let's bend into that front leg. Take the hands a bit further forward and stepping that left foot forward. Let the head relax. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take the arms out to the side, inhaling. Palms, hands come together and just draw them down through the center line. Releasing the arms back down by your side. Let's go again. Take the arms forward and up. Inhaling, drop the tailbone down, sternum lifts. Let the arms circle out to the side and bring the hands onto the back, back of the pelvis. Thumbs to the inside, drop the tailbone down, hips shift forward. Maybe the head relaxes all the way back. Squeeze the elbows in, inhale. And then as you exhale, come back up. Fold forward through the hips. Let the arms relax all the way down. Head relaxes down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees. Take that left leg back into your sprinter's lunge. Pressing the inner edge of that left leg up towards the ceiling. Try to draw that right hip crease back. Everything is going to stay the same. We're just going to take the arms off. Torso is lifting up a little bit. Tips of the shoulders lifting away from the mat. Back of the neck long. Keep pressing the back of the left thigh up towards the ceiling. Keep everything the same. Let's take those arms forward and up. Arms up alongside the ears. Lift the belly button away from the mat. And then let's take an inhale, come into your crescent moon lunge. Bending a bit deep in this front leg. Just taking one more in breath. Palms and hands come together and then exhale. Dropping down onto that back knee. Bring the hands down to the inside of that right foot. Release the back toes down. Toe heel this right foot out to the side. And then start to turn towards that right, that right leg. Pressing towards the inside of that right knee, turning the shoulders. Option here to bring that left foot in, holding the inside of that left foot. 
and either staying on your hand or come down onto your forearm. Looking over that right shoulder. I'm trying to bring that left heel in towards the bottom, letting the hips sink down but at the same time, you're still engaging a little bit through the lower belly. So you're finding a twist and at the same time opening through that left hip flexor, left quadricep area. Just taking one more full breath. Gently release that back foot down. Bring both hands back onto the mat. Walk the right foot in. Left toes tuck under. Lifting the left knee off. Swiveling onto the outside edge of that left foot. Taking that right foot down, stacking it on top. Lift away from that left hand. Take the right arm up, looking forward. And then if you've got your balance, turn the head to look up. Keep lifting that left side waist away from the mat. Keep breathing. Looking towards the right hand corner of the mat, step that right foot forward. Bring both hands down, come onto the ball of the left foot. Take the right leg back to your three legged dog. Option to keep it off as you come forward. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Top of the right foot down, top of the left foot down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Taking a clearing breath here. And take the left leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale. Knee in towards the chest and extend that left leg out to the right-hand side. Flexing through the left foot and stay on the ball of the right foot. And then if you can, and extend that right arm forward. Crown of the head keeps reaching forward. Inhale, and then swivel onto the inside edge of that right foot as you exhale, opening that right arm up towards the ceiling into your fallen triangle. Taking one more in breath. Exhale, right hand comes down, hug the left knee in towards the chest. Take it back, three legged dog, inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward. Right heel comes down and warrior one. Arms up, palms might come together. Looking up towards the thumbs. Keep pressing down through the outside edge of that right foot. We're letting that right hip wrap forward a little bit. Inhaling, as you exhale, circle the arms back behind you, interlacing through the fingers. Reach the hands down, lift the sternum up, inhaling. Exhale, diving down, humble warrior. Drawing that left hip back. Press down through the outside edge of that right foot. Keeping that front leg bent. And then on your next in breath, coming up into your reverse warrior, shifting the hips and the shoulders to the side. Right hand light on the back leg, left arm up, looking up towards that top arm. Just taking an inhale and then exhale into your side angle. Left forearm down, right arm up and over, or maybe left hand comes down onto the fingertips or all the way flat. Using that left shoulder to try to press that left knee back if your hand is down on the ground. Turning the left side of the rib cage forward. And then on your next in breath, coming back into your reverse warrior, keeping that front leg bent, inhale. Exhale, cut all the hands down by the front foot. Come onto the ball of the right foot, step it forward, just about a foot. Inhale and then exhale, straight into that front leg, coming into your pyramid. Lifting the right heel up towards the ceiling. Try to draw that left quadricep up. Navel lifting away from that left thigh. And then let's bend into that front leg. Take the hands forward and step that right foot forward. Relax the head down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Taking the arms out to the side, inhale. 
palms and hands come together. Exhale, draw them down through the center line and releasing the arms down by your side. And let's keep going. Take the arms up, inhale, drop the tailbone down, circle the arms back, take the hands onto the back of the pelvis, drop the tailbone down, let the head relax back. And then inhale, coming back up. We're going to hold onto the inside edge of that right leg or right foot, I should say. So finding the inner ankle or the inner edge of that right foot, draw the knee in together and then extend that left arm up. Press down into that left foot. Start to kick this right knee back and dive the chest forward. So you're kicking that right knee up towards the ceiling. Reach the left hand forward, sternum reaching forward. Keep lifting the belly button away from the mat. Keep breathing, keep kicking back, reach forward. Tricky transition coming up here. We're gonna go from here into our sprinter's lunge. Very gently release the back foot, step it back, bring the hands down. And just take a little moment, find your sprinter's lunge. Take an inhale, and then as you exhale, lift those arms up into your arrowhead. We're gonna flow through this sequence now. Take those arms up alongside the ears. Take an inhale, come up into your crescent moon lunge. Palms and hands come together. Exhale, drop down to the back knee. Bring both hands down, release the back foot. Walk this left foot out to the side, using the left hand to the inside of that left knee. Option to bring that back foot in, holding the inside edge of that right foot. Only just a breath now. Gently release that back foot down. Take the left hand back down. Tuck the back toes under. Lift that right knee off. Come to the outside edge of that right foot. So side plank option to hover that left leg off. Take the left arm up towards the ceiling. Turn the head to look to the side wall, maybe up if you can. Flexing both feet. Let's step that left foot towards the left hand corner of the mat. Nice work. Staying on the ball of the right foot, take the left leg back to your three legged dog. Inhale, come forward into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga, top of the feet down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. It's taking a big inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. We'll do that one more time. Deep breath in. Exhaling out. Just coming back to breathing in and out through the nose. Take the right leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale. Knee in towards the chest. Extend that right leg out to the left. Stay on the ball of the left foot. Just one breath. Take that left arm forward if you can. And then come to the inner edge of that left foot. Take the left arm up towards the ceiling. You might wanna give it a try. Draw that right hip a little bit in and then lift that right leg up off the mat. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, left hand down, hug the right knee in towards the chest, take it back. Three-legged dog, inhale. Step it forward, left heel down, warrior one. Inhaling, exhale, circle the arms back behind you. Reach the hands down, lift the sternum up, in breath. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, reverse warrior, shift the hips, shoulders to the side. Exhale, side angle. You're gonna hold this one again. Option here to take your half bind or if it's available, your full bind, right arm underneath, reaching for your fingertips, or if you can, your left wrist. Keep those hips low, turn the shoulders to the left. Maybe looking up towards the ceiling.
gently release out back into your Paschvokanasana. And then we're going to keep that front leg bent, reverse warrior, inhale, exhale, warrior two, bring the hands to the waist, step that left foot a little bit further forward. So we're going for just a leg length distance here. And then either take hold of your forearms or if you can, go into your reverse prayer behind the back. So we're going for our Paschvottanasana. Try to keep the hips square, drop the tailbone down, take an inhale, lift the sternum up and then as you exhale, lengthen the spine forward. Crown the head reaching forward, draw that right hip back. Try to lift the belly button away from the mat. Back of the neck long. Pressing the palms and hands together. And then gently release the hands down. Come onto the ball of the left foot. Step that left foot forward. Relax the head. Take an inhale into your halfway lift and exhale fold. Take the arms up to the side, inhaling, palms and hands come together, exhale down through the center, release the arms down by your side. We've got one more round like that. Shift the weight to the right leg, holding the inner edge of that left ankle or foot. Ankle is better if you can. Draw that left knee in towards the right. Take the right arm up towards the ceiling. Steady gaze with the eyes, ground down through the right foot. Kick that left knee back as the sternum reaching, reaches forward. Keep engaging through the belly. Kick the knee up, let the left hip drop down. Keep reaching forward, keep kicking. Tricky transition into our sprinter's lunge. Very gently release the back foot, reaching back. Step back onto the ball of the left foot. Just reset yourself until your feet are in the right direction, right spot. Taking an inhale, and then as you exhale, lifting up into your arrowhead. Ground down to that right heel. Take the arms forward. Inhale, stay for the exhale. Inhale, crescent moon. Palms and hands come together. Exhale, drop down to the left knee. Bring the hands down. Release the back toes. Walk this right foot out to the side. Take the right hand to the inside of that right knee. Option to bring that left foot in, holding the inner edge of that left foot. Just one breath. Gently release that back foot. Bring both hands down. Tuck the back toes under, lift the knee off. Take the left, the outer edge of that left foot down option to hover that right leg straight off. Take the right arm up towards the ceiling. Try to press away from that bottom hand. Maybe looking up towards that top hand if you've got the balance. Step that right foot towards the right hand corner of the mat. Right hand comes down. Take the right leg back to your three-legged dog. Inhale, come forward into your plank position. Lowering down, exhale, top of the right foot down, top of the left foot down. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, down facing dog. Taking a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Once again, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just coming back to breathing in and out through the nose. Take the left leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale, knee in towards the chest, extending it out to the right, flexing that right foot. Stay on the ball of the, the right, the left foot is flexed. Stay on the ball of the right foot. Extend that right arm forward, crown of the head reaching forward. One breath. Come to the inside edge of that right foot, taking the right arm up towards the ceiling. Option here to bring the left leg in a little bit and then start to lift the leg up towards the ceiling. Maybe turn the head to look up, keep breathing. Bring that right hand down, 
come to the ball of the right foot, knee in, take it back, three-legged dog, inhale, stepping it forward, right heel down, warrior one, inhale, and then exhale, circle the arms down, interlace the fingers behind the back, reach the hands down, inhale, lift the sternum, exhale, dive down, humble warrior. Inhaling, reverse warrior. Shoulders and hips shift to the side. Exhale, side angle. Right arm up and over. Taking your half bind or your full bind here. Left arm is underneath. Reaching for your fingertips or that right wrist. Turning the shoulders to the right. Head might look up. Drop that right hip down. Releasing that left hand back down, right arm back up and over. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Hand to the waist. Step that right foot forward. So straining both legs, trying to get that right hip to come forward, squaring it to where you can. Holding the forearms or reverse prayer behind the back. Take an inhale, lift up through the two frontal hip bones, and then exhale, forward fold. And just being mindful you're not just dropping down through the hips, trying to keep the hip bones as level as you can. So the back of the pelvis is flat. Crown of the head is reaching forward. Draw the energy up that left leg. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, release the hands down. Soften into that left knee, come to the ball of the right foot. Stepping it forward, Uttanasana. Let the head relax down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take the arms out to the side, inhaling. Palms and hands come together. Draw the hands down through the center line. Rest them in front of the chest. And let's close down the eyes. Feeling the weight drop back down into the feet. Just observing those sensations, residual feelings from the work you've been doing. So everything's starting to slow down again. Last couple of breaths in stillness. And then let's gently open the eyes. Release the arms down by your side. Bring the feet together side by side. Bend through the knees and sweep up into your Utkatasana. We're not going to hold this one for too long. I'm just going to sit down a little bit deeper, bring the arms down in front of the shoulders, draw the belly button in, take an inhale. As you exhale, keep sitting all the way down. Use your hands if you need to. If you can, knees, feet stay together, coming into your half Navasana. Keep lifting up through the lower back, looking towards the big toes. We've got five more breaths. You could extend one leg and then the other, but if you can, Straighten both legs. Keep lifting up out of the lower back. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the feet down. Bring the soles of the feet together. And try to draw the heels in towards the groin. Using your hands to open out the feet. Take an inhale to lengthen up out of the lower back. As you exhale, belly down towards the feet. You might use those elbows towards the inside edges of the thighs, just to wherever you can. You might bring your forehead down. If you're all the way here, you could bring your chin forward as well. And keep pressing those sitting bones back down towards the mat. And 
and then taking an inhale, coming back up. Let's bring the knees together, extend the legs long, flexing through the feet, wriggling right up onto the sitting bones, press down through the backs of the thighs, reach the arms up, inhale, exhale, forward fold, holding outsides of the legs, ankles, feet. Try to press the inside edges of the feet forward. Take one more inhale to lengthen out. And then as you exhale, coming forward, belly down towards the thighs, crown of the head reaching towards the tops of the feet. Staying quite active with your breathing, but everything's going to be slowing right down now. We've come down to the mat, but continuing to lengthen out the breath. Just notice if there's any unnecessary effort you can let go of. This may be in the shoulders or the face. Taking one more full breath here, noticing if there's any space to go a bit deeper. And then inhale to come back up, just releasing the hands. And option here to bring the sole of that right foot to the inner edge of that left leg, or if half lotus is available, bringing that right foot into the left hip crease. Keep that left leg parallel, and either you could go forward or option to wrap the right arm behind the back, trying to hold the right big toe with the first two fingers. And then reaching for that left leg, take an inhale, lengthen up, exhale, folding down to where you can and trying to get that right shoulder to drop down to be level with the left and then taking an in breath coming back up releasing that left foot for this next bit just open that right heel out. So you're just opening it a little bit wider. If it's available, stand down on that right foot. It's still open. And then either just taking the left hand onto the left leg or take the left hand to the outside of that right foot. And then we're gonna lay the left side of the body down towards that, that left leg. You might be able to tuck that left shoulder in, right arm up and over, holding onto your ankle, or if it's available, outside edge of that left foot. Try to turn the shoulders towards the ceiling. And that right hip will come off the mat, but you just keep grounding down. So keep trying to drop that right hip down. It's a beautiful big side opening for the right side of the body into the upper arm. And then let's take an inhale, coming back up and returning that right leg back to centre. Just take a moment in the centre, press down through the backs of the thighs, press down through the palms of hands, chin tucking in for a moment, and then releasing that. Let's bring sole of the left foot to the inside of that right leg, or cradling that left foot into the right hip crease. Try to keep a little bit of a flex through that left foot, either go straight forward or reach back, pistol grip with that left big toe, turn the shoulders back, towards that right leg, inhale to lengthen out, and then exhale, folding forward. Trying to let that left shoulder drop down. And then inhale, lengthen up, and then exhale to release. And once again, taking that left heel to the left side of the groin or standing down onto that left foot, right hand down side bend or right hand to the outside of that left ankle. Take the left arm up and over. I'm trying to tuck that right shoulder towards the inside of that right thigh and holding onto that right foot with the left hand where you can preferably the outside of that right foot. Turning the head to look up towards the ceiling. Keep dropping that left hip down. Right foot stays flex. And then inhale. 
coming back up, extending that uh, left foot forward. Take the hands about a forearm's distance behind you, fingers pointing forward, hands shoulder distance apart. You might take this as a tabletop, just bring the hips up. But if, you, if it's available for you, taking Purvottanasana, so pressing down through the balls of feet, lifting the hips up, and then maybe letting the head relax all the way back. Keep pressing down through the tops of the feet. Three full breaths. And then let's bring the head back up, lower the hips back down and coming back upright. Let's cross the legs over, coming over the knees, step back into down facing dog. Just taking a couple of breaths in down facing dog before we keep going. Just setting up for headstand, coming down to the knees, if headstand is not part of your practice or you don't want to practice it today, you could take dolphin. So elbows shoulder distance apart, knees together, tuck the toes under. And with your dolphin, you're developing the strength but your head is not down on the ground, but back of the neck is relaxed. If you're going into your headstand, come back down to the knees. Open the hands out a little bit wider. Bring the crown of the head into, in between the hands. Lift the knees off. Start to walk the feet forward up towards the shoulders. You want to get your hips as high over the shoulders as you can. Bring one knee in and then the other foot in. When you're ready, start to extend those legs up towards the ceiling. Steady gaze with the eyes. Once you're there, relax the hands and relax the shoulders. A little bit of weight down through the forearms, a bit of weight down through the centre of the head. Find the breath. You might have already had enough, but when you're ready, just bringing one knee in, the other knee in, and then lowering all the way down. Knees down, forehead down, arms down by your side. Just bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, coming up to a seated position. Yes, sitting over to one side and taking out the legs out long in front of you. And let's take either cross leg position, so the right leg in front of the left, or if you can, we'll take our figure four stretch here on with by stacking the right shin bone on top of the left. Keep both feet flexed taking an inhale to lengthen up through both sides of the waist. And then as you exhale, walk your hands forward to where you can. You could start off on your fingertips, really actively lengthening out through both sides of the waist, right shin bone dropping down towards the left. Long, deep breaths. And then when you're ready, you can just let the arms just relax. So we're just taking a more passive version, still active through the legs. We're just letting the upper body relax. Let the head relax down. You might even rest them down on your hands. Make two fists if you need to. Trying to let the shoulders relax. And then starting to walk the hands back up. Releasing the legs out long. Just give the legs a little bit of a wriggle out and then let's swap it around. Right leg underneath, left leg in front, or if you can, stacking shin to shin. 
So trying to make more of a square shape with the, with the legs. Flex both feet, hands by your side, taking an inhale and then exhale, walking your hands forward. And starting off being a bit more active through those arms, try to lengthen out through the waist. And one side might feel a little bit different to the other. Just being mindful of that. Just coming down to where you can and holding here. Keep grounding the sitting bones back as you lengthen out through the sides of the body. So armpits, just wrap, wrapping into face one another. That external rotation through the upper arms. And then when you're ready, it's relaxing those arms. You can rest the head down, maybe on the forearms or making little fists with your hands. It's keeping a little bit of a flex through both feet. It's trying not to sickle or overstretch the outside of the ankles. Noticing if there's any way you can soften, particularly on the exhale. And then starting to walk the hands back up. Releasing the legs out. Just giving the legs a little bit of a wriggle out. And then just to finish off, you can come to your cross-legged position or if you can take lotus or half lotus, so cradling one foot into the hip crease and the other foot into the hip crease. And we're going to finish off just with some breathing, lengthening up through both sides of the waist. You could place the palms of the hands down or back of the hands, index fingers and thumbs lightly touching. It's closing down the eyes. Lengthening out through the entire spinal column. Chin very lightly tucking in to lengthen out through the back of the neck and then starting to just follow the breathing in and out through the nose. It's really slowing down the inhale and slowing down the exhale. And you might hear that, that long, light, sonorous breath in and out through the nose, just through that slight constriction in the back of the throat. And then on your next inhale, let's count one, two, three, four. Exhaling one, two, three, four. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhaling one, two, three, four. Inhaling one, two, three, four five, exhaling one, two, three, four, five. Let's continue counting to yourself. Take the count up to six if you can, or drop it back to four if that feels better for you. Just for a couple of minutes.
starting to let go of the counting. Just continue to follow the breathing. And gently release the hand so you can cup the left hand into the right, tips of the thumbs lightly pressing into one another. And let the breath drop back down so it's a natural rhythm. Just continue to observe the breath. And then gently opening the eyes, just releasing the legs out and give them a little bit of a wriggle. If you want to pop something warmer on, do it now. And then lying down on your back for Shavasana. And once you're down on your back, just letting the feet fall away from one another, arms a little bit away from the sides of the body. Lift the shoulders up and let the shoulder blades slide down the back. Closing down the eyes. So with each exhale, allowing the body to get a little bit heavier and a little bit softer. So allowing all the muscles of the face to release. The forehead little muscles around the eyes, the jaw, the back of the throat, soft shoulders and soft belly. This whole body letting go and coming to complete rest. If you would like to stay in Shavasana, please do. Otherwise, bringing the attention back to the breathing and starting to deepen into the breath once again, feeling the belly rise and fall. Bringing a little bit of movement to the fingers and toes. And let's extend the arms up above the head lengthening out through the fingertips, maybe hooking those thumbs, reach the fingertips back, reach out through the toes, taking a really big inhale to stretch it out. And then as you exhale, let everything soften. Bending the knees up, rolling over to the right hand side. You can use your right arm to support the head. Just staying here for a couple of breaths. And then using this left hand just to press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. 
Just keeping the eyes closed just for the last few moments. Just resting the hands down on the legs. Feeling the sitting bones grounding down long through the entire spinal column. Soft face and soft shoulders. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. Namaste.